this tutorial, we will see this skateboarder, Grayson, and he wanted to film himself skateboarding and have the camera follow him as he does a trick. The challenge was that he didn't have a cameraman, so he got out his modified GoPro camera with the Antonia fisheye lens by Intompano and a tripod, shot some footage, and took that into post to animate the camera within Relens. Let's see how this was done and keep in mind that you can apply this technique to any similar scenario. You can watch some of the basic tutorials for Relens first as we don't spend a lot of time on the basic steps in this tutorial. First we can see the tape that Grayson decided to use. We brought that into After Effects and added Relens Superfish. We can start by setting the method to Equisolid and entering the field of view, which we know is 280 degrees. Then we go to the view mode and change it to set circle over source. We can turn the toggle mask on if it isn't showing up. We can set the camera radius and center X. The software needs to know where the center of the projection is and the sensor is not always in the same place, so this is why we need to adjust. Now we go back to the result and adjust the Z value until the horizon line is straight. We want the original camera position to start relatively centered and straight. We need to make these adjustments because the camera was not straight on the tripod, so we're compensating for that. We can go to the first frame and set focal length to 0.8 in order to zoom out a little and see more of him. Since the tripod's on the ground, this may not be the framing you desire, so you can adjust the framing here a little with focal length, and I lifted the X up to 4.0. Or next time you can raise the tripod. We can rotate the camera, but we cannot move up and down so you need to keep that in mind when setting up the camera on the scene. Now we can set up keyframes to animate the camera around Y and follow the action of the skateboard. We go ahead and set the keyframes and then select them all, right mouse click to select keyframe interpolation, and select Auto Bezier for interpolation, so it's a smooth transition between the keyframes. We need to go back through the keyframes and make sure that they're good. In some cases, we're too far to the left or right, so now we can go back and fine-tune the keyframes. Now we can render it and take a look at the result. In this next example, we can look at another comp. We can see how to follow the action on lat long footage. We go to the lat long 2 from comp and we've added from lat long to our footage. We can set projection to show where in lat long. This shows you what your rectilinear framing will be. We can use this as a guide to set up what our animation will look like in the rectilinear space. So we can set our first frame to start on one side of the color ramp guide. We can go to frame 100 and manually position the camera using longitude. We can go through the shot and add keyframes to keep him in view throughout the shot. This guide will help you to visualize the entire scene and set keyframes accordingly. We can go back to projection and lat long to rectilinear. To recap. Relens supports two types of source footage, 360 lat long and fisheye footage, and we've seen how to animate the camera and follow the action within these two types of footage. 